The Habersham County Jail was built in the mid-1990s with the capacity to house 130 detainees. The current daily number of Habersham County inmates ranges between 150 and 239. So, so the problem areas that I would face when I go into the jail usually center on me and the ministry community needing to visit someone for whom we are responsible spiritually. And in order to visit now, many times I wind up having to go to Lumpkin County or send someone to Lumpkin County or I have to go to White County or send someone to White County because we just are overcrowded. So that a lot of the, the inmates that I need to visit and that I need to, to do my best to help care for are in another city. And uh, one other problem that oftentimes crops up is, is, is that it, it, because of the overcrowding, at times the guards are so busy dealing with so many issues that it may take us a long time to get to see that particular inmate. Every one of the staff is wonderful and works with us extremely well, but they face limitations because of the, the jail in which they work. Currently, one of the biggest issues that we have with sightline and space inside the facility is our control room officers do not have enough space to spread out their paperwork. Their computer is in a very confined space. They're, they have a printer in there. They have the telephone. They also have supplies that the dorm officers are going to need while they are on the, on the floor. There's no bathroom in there for them to use. Um, the sight lines that they have to look at are very obstructed by steel beams from the process of, of putting the windows in, um, chimneys that were put in after the fact when the building was built to uh, bring exhaust to parts of the building that didn't have it originally. The showers, um, are, are they protrude out of the sight line a good 12 feet to where many things can happen outside of the, the view of the, the officer in the tower.